ಓಕೆ ಸರಿ ಆಯಿತು ಹಲೋ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಸೋಮಶೇಖರ್ ಗುಡ್ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಸರ್ ಹೇಗಿದ್ದೀರಾ ಸೋಮಶೇಖರ್ ಸರ್ ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ಕೇಳ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಬಂದೆ ಬಂದೆ ಕೇಳಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದೆಯಾ ಎಸ್ ಸರ್ ಹೇಗಿದೆ ಸರ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಫೈನ್ ಸರ್ ಗುಡ್ ವೆರಿ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಬಂದಿದಾರ ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಎಸ್ ಸರ್ ಎಸ್ ಸರ್ ಹಾಕ್ಸಿ ನೋಡೋಣ ಹೇಗ್ ಕಾಣ್ತಾ ನೋಡೋಣ ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಸ್ಮಿತಾ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಸೋಮಶೇಖರ್ ಸರ್ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಸರ್ ಸ್ಮಿತಾ ಎಲ್ರೂ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಸೋಮಶೇಖರ್ ಋಷಿಕೇಶ್ ಅಂತ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ನೋಡಿ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಹಾಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಕೇಳಿಸ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಕಾಣಿಸ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅವ್ರ ಹಿಂದೆ ಅವ್ರ ಹಿಂದೆ ಓಕೆ ಅನ್ಮ್ಯೂಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಸ್ಮಿತಾ ಸ್ಮಿತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ನಿಖಿಲ್ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಯಾರು ವಿಜೇತ ಅಂತ ಸರ್ ಹಾ ಗುಡ್ ಗುಡ್ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಸೋಮಶೇಖರ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಗುಡ್ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಮನ್ ಸರ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ತಮ್ಮ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ನಿಖಿಲ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಹೃಷಿಕೇಶ್ ಸ್ಮಿತಾ ಮೂರ್ ಜನನು ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ವಿಜೇತ ಅವರು ಎಲ್ ಎಲ್ ಬಿ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ ಸರ್ ಅವ್ರದ್ದು ಸೊ ಎಲ್ರೂ ಕೂಡ ಯು ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಸತಿ ಮೇನ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಇಂಟ್ರೂ ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಇದಾರೆ ಸೊ ಎಲ್ರು ನಿಮ್ಮನ್ನ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ತೀರಾ ಸರ್ ಬ್ರೀಫ್ ಆಗಿ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಒನ್ ಎಸ್ ಐ ಗೋ ಸೋ ಯಾ ಶೋರ್ ಗೋ ಹೆಡ್ ಗೋ ಎಸ್ ಗುಡ್ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಸೋ ಐ ಆಮ್ ವಿಜೇತ ಹೊಸ್ಮನಿ ಐ ಕಮ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ವಿಜಯಪುರ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಟೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಧಾರವಾಡ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟೆಡ್ ಮೈ ಲಾ ಗ್ರಾಜ್ಯುಯೇಷನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಲಾ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಗುಜರಾತ್ ಇನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಐ ಹವ್ ಬಿನ್ ಪ್ರಿಪೇರಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಸಿ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೈ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಅಟೆಂಪ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಇಂಟರ್ವ್ಯೂ ಎನಿ ವರ್ಕ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ವಿಜೇತ ಸೋ ಅಂಡ್ ಐ ಹಾವ್ ಬಿನ್ ಪ್ರಿಪೇರಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕಲ್ಸ್ಟ್ಸ್ so post that i gave my state psc examinations and i've been currently selected as assistant labor commissioner in, in the government of karnataka so uh, this is my fourth attempt at upsc and my second interview sir you had one interview already yes sir uh, way okay. back in 2019 when 2019 sir 2019 upsc csc 2019 okay thank you smita thank you. Good morning, sir. My name is Smita Jiyam. I'm from Ramnagar and I've completed my graduation in Information Science and Engineering uh, in 2019. Thereafter, I've been preparing for, for UPSC Civil Services exam. And I don't have any work experience. 
Okay, sir. And you stay in Ramnagar? I stay in Kanakpura, which comes under Ramnagar district. Okay. Good. And Mr. Rishikesh? Yes, sir. Good morning, sir. My name is Rishikesh. I've done my B.Tech in Civil Engineering and I passed out in 2019. Since then, I've been preparing for UPSC. But uh, currently, in from 2022, I'm working as a uh, contact uh, civil engineer in Indian Space Research Organization. And I'm, uh, this is my fourth attempt and uh, second mains first interview. Okay, good. So, uh, very happy to meet all of you. I'm extremely thrilled that four young people like you from Karnataka are up going to appear for uh, the mains. In the first instance, I see no reason why each of you can't make it to the IAS. I honestly can't see the reason why you can't make it because A, you're well-educated, B, you're articulate, C, you have adequate preparation, which is why you've got through the prelims and mains. And D, I presume you're motivated also because, you know, to appear for these exams and to qualify calls for a special bent of mind, which you have from... ...reason why any of you all the four of you should not make it to the IAS. Now, before I get started, I want all of you to pay close attention because I have devoted my time to this. I have got other work. So if you have any other work, if you have to go elsewhere, please leave now. But for the next one and a half hours, we should all be on the same page. I wanted to first ask each one of you, and I'll begin in a particular order, one, whether your interview is in English or Kannada, number one. And number two, whichever language it is, I want you to specifically tell me what is your great motivation in wanting to appear and get into the IAS? These are the two questions I want to ask you. And I want each one of you to respond to this. We'll begin with Mr. Rishikesh. Sir, I'm giving my interview in English language and my first preference is not the administrative service but the Indian police service. Okay. Uh, I believe my qualities and my skills would, would be best calibrated in the police service which I have been developing since my since the past two years. Okay. But we'll come back to that. Basically. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Smita GM. Smita? Yes, sir. I'm giving my interview in English language. Uh, I think my qualities that help me serve as an IAS are like being consistent with the preparation and being dedicated to the service. And uh, it gives me like a, uh, I have been like work, liking to work in various and diverse fields that can help in IAS. That's why it has been motivated me to look for IAS. Okay. Nikhil from Mandia. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, I'm giving my interview in English language. So, and the qualities that I think uh, uh, that is uh, best suited for me to become an IAS is uh, three major qualities that I've understood about myself. So, one is the grit, uh, the ability to move forward even at the uh, time of uh, any hindrance or obstacle. The second one would be the curious nature or the curiosity that I contain. And the third one would be the creative nature uh, or the creative aspect of uh, picking up any problems that I see. Okay. I want to ask you, Nikhil, what were your learnings yes, from the first interview that you went to in 2019? Right. Uh, uh, sir, I, uh, sir, I got an interview marks of around 165. So, uh, majorly during that point of the time, I think I was uh, a bit less confident. And also, I could... Uh, in most of my mock interviews also, people said that I was actually evading certain questions. Rather than addressing uh, or trying to answer such a question, I used to uh, just back out from the opinion-based question. So uh, that was one of my uh, drawbacks. And 
other thing is that during the during the time of interview itself uh, they gave me a lot of opportunity to actually kind of draw the answer uh, from the conversation itself but i couldn't uh, give the right set of answers uh, one of the question that they asked was uh, uh, it regards to lily thomas case so wherein uh, they asked me uh, with regards to criminalization of politics and uh, uh, what is the solutions for that so i did not mention the lily thomas case and i did not give it in a perspective from the uh, judgment perspective i just gave it as a personal opinion so that did not add a lot of value to the answer and you did your first uh, interview in english or kannada english itself sir english so in other words what you are saying nikhil is that your first interview has given you some valuable lessons that you will implement now absolutely sir good nikita So Go ahead. So my interview will be in the English language. Um, so having a passion towards making an impact through social service, I think the Indian Administrative Service, through its ambit for the work that we can do and the diversity of the work that it provides, would be well suited for my personality. And hence, that is my first job preference in the services. Very good. Very happy to hear all of you, and I want you. I want to start this by saying there are five things that are integral for an interview. I request you to kindly absorb these five things in a positive manner. The first is, you know, whatever answers you give must bear to your personality. There must be a personal touch to whatever you are saying. As a, as our young friend Nikhil said. we don't want any editorial comments we don't want any editorial comments because basically it is smita or nikhil or rishikesh or nikita nikita right that's your name vijayta sir sorry vijayta beg your pardon or vijayta who are appearing for the interview so they want to know who is the real you very important and see they will be interviewing many candidates every day if i remember right at least a minimum of 10 candidates a day spread over two months or maybe two and a half months so each board will be talking to at least 500 600 candidates so two things are important there one is you know they can make out who a candidate is quickly and two the time that is available for you to establish your credentials is also limited maybe half an hour keep that in mind that this personal statement is very important so i like what uh, vijayta said on why she wants to join the ias yeah. like that each of you has got a personal reason why you want to join the ias but nowadays they don't ask those questions like i used to ask earlier because it is presumed that you being intelligent young adults you know why you want to get into a particular service just like uh, our friend rishikesh said that he wants to get into the police right rishikesh tan yes sir yes sir name. where are you uh, where are yes, you sir. you are first okay yes yeah. sir i like i he said he wants to get into the police so firmness of conviction on why you want to do a particular thing must come through in your answers not just in uh, why you want to join the ias but in all the answers that you will give a certain clarity of the mind and firmness consistency in conviction that leads me to the second point i want to make which is see there are two types of questions which they ask you there are questions of fact and there are questions of opinion so questions of fact are something that you must either know or don't know for instance uh, uh someone is from ramnagaram what is special about ramnagaram something there must be some factual thing in ramnagaram or what is special about mandya or what is special about hubli or what, what is north karnataka famous for 
those matters are all matters of fact when did india become a republic it's also unlikely that those questions are being asked because see this is not a general knowledge quiz which is the capital of albania adella illa they won't ask those questions but in the course of conversation they will know how truthful you are because if you are not sure about a question of fact then it means that you don't you have not done the proper background and you are not consistent on questions of opinion so there is no right or wrong opinion there is no right or wrong opinion but there is a well argued well reasoned opinion that is expected from people who are appearing for the all india services exam uh, interview whatever you say must be logical must be clear and it must come in a proper communication manner i'll come to communication in a minute i am on the point of honesty in your answer questions of fact questions of fiction questions of opinion that is and questions of opinion must be well argued so it is likely that you may not know the answer to a question quite like if so instead of trying to fib an answer you can say i am not very sure but i can try and you will find that that will always meet with a positive response because you see you are not an encyclopedia i mean you might have done a be you might have done a ll ba llb you might have done whatever other course that you have but you are not an encyclopedia nobody expects you to have an answer to everything but honesty of purpose bringing out a matter properly that is important that is the second point i want to the third very critical good communication skills the good news is that all the four of you speak english well you are articulate you are modulating your voice you are formulating your words correctly several people from karnataka that i know who have appeared for the interview either when i have gone for the interview there or when i have seen it in topper they are very hesitant to voice their opinion their english language skills are poor sometimes they are not able to convey what they want to say either because they are tongue shy tongue tied or because they can't put it in proper words you don't have it in fact i remember and somshekar will agree to some people i would say read the editorial in the hindu paper loudly because that paper still has retained a certain standard and if you read it loudly your voice will get accustomed to hearing those words your ear will get accustomed to hearing those words many a time our young men and women from karnataka falter because they psych themselves up madle beko illedre mana otogutade mariyade otogutade yen aagutade illa illa ant heli aa ondu fervor alli they go for the interview never suristhare yen helbeko gottagodilla falter but nivella experienced agidira yaro you are not going into interview just like that you have adequate time to have prepared some of you have been working for the exam and interview for some time so yaru nimmalli aa tara tondreyalli sikkakobekagilla you are all young smart capable people but communication is important i also have advised people i want make the same advice to you that if you really want to know how english language is spoken listen to the bbc english channel the news you don't have to imitate the bbc i'm not saying that yav tara words articulate martare yav tara 
ಸ್ಪೀಚ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಇನ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ಅನ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ಹಿಯರ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೆ ಫಾರ್ ಯು ಇಟ್ ಡಸೆಂಟ್ ಅಪ್ಲೈ ಬಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯು ಸರ್ಟನ್ಲಿ ಐ ವುಡ್ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಟು ರೀಡ್ ಹಿಂದೂ ಪೇಪರ್ ಎಡಿಟೋರಿಯಲ್ ಲೌಡ್ಲಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಯು ಟು ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಸ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಯು ಟು ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ the fourth thing i want to emphasize is a positive attitude you see i have spent 30 years in the ias and i want to tell somshekar get them two copies each of uh, my books which i have written about the administration called jaitra yatra and rajamarga i actually wrote it in english i got it translated into kannada it was published in vijay karnataka and uh, uh it was uh, brought out sub one was while it was, i was in the ia second when i had retired read it i'm sure all of you can read kannada and if you read it it will get you and again it's also simple kannada it will give you a flavor of what administration is how to deal with people how to deal with politicians usual subjects that people always ask about why i say this is because if there's one thing i have learned that to be effective you must be positive there are many constraints in the service there are many impediments that you will face there are times when you feel that you will be defeated because of the circumstances but if you retain a positive attitude i can do it i know i have the wherewithal to make a difference like what uh, uh, the young lady vijeta said i want to make an impact you have the potential of making an impact provided you have a positive attitude and that positive attitude must come forth in the ias interview or ips interview in other words you must appear before the interview board smartly dressed i'm not saying well dressed i'm not saying you must wear expensive clothes and go illa i'm saying i want you to be smartly dressed and you know what smart dress is i want you to have a proper beaming countenance i want if you i want you to comb your hair nicely i want you to look spick and span have your shoes polished so that when you go for the interview board you are exuding a positive demeanor all right and once you have that positive demeanor you can steer your way through the interview you are not hapless you are not subject to the mercy of the interview you can shape it when i went for my interview i went to a legend called rao s rao of rao's ia study circle and i had come back from america and i was doing the interview and it was my first attempt i did economics and law and all that and then i went for the interview with him and he told me two things that i would like to repeat to you one is you know when a question is asked don't jump into the answer immediately solpa time tokole ondu 5 seconds formulate maadi formulate maadi amel uttara kodi aga it shows a presence of mind don't take too much time they think you are slow no question is asked on mukson munchene you don't jump into the answer take your time secondly he said if you takes a little bit of time and if there are questions of opinion that are asked it's a priceless thing he told me most of the people who ask questions of opinion also contain a little bit of the answer they want to hear try it out what do you think about the abrogation of article 370 in the of the indian constitution in respect of cash paid don't you think it was a good decision take it from there so 
very important to have a positive attitude to the interview and to carry that positive attitude to your life. Because see, at the end of the day, and I tell all my young colleagues from Topper and elsewhere, Yen Maha, okay, you don't get in, you don't get in. Yen Akta De. Prapancha Bilta Da. Anavata Akta Da. Our young friend is working in uh, ISRO. It's an excellent organization to work for. And uh, uh, others, all of you, I mean, you're all highly capable. Even Vijayata is a, a law school graduate from. NLS Gujarat, she can get a great job, no issue. She can work. And so can all of you. So can Smita. So can uh, Nikhil. So what I'm trying to say is, it's not the end of the world. Because life. But let me give my best shot. I want to do well because I have that self-esteem to do well. So a positive attitude, kelegade self-esteem and tabarkoli, atma vishwasa. Very important. So finally, fifth thing I am telling you is about precision. See, time is limited. Yene no hedo bato, ragade amado bato, precise agi ni mutra kodi. What is Mandya famous for? Mandya sir is famous for its agricultural commodities. It is also famous for processing agricultural things like sugar, etc. I mean, whatever appeals to you. What is North Karnataka famous for? So, I'm just giving you some examples. And you will have to think on the spot and fashion your responses. But your responses must be precise. Yelly bedi. Because see, time is limited. And they only want to see what is your thinking process? How do you filter information? How do you process it? How do you bring it out? That is a measure of the personality. And what is your thinking ability? So, I always advise young people, be precise. So remember, these are the five important points I start with. That is basic and germane to every interview. One, whatever you say must be a personal, powerful statement of who the real you are. Rishikesh or Smita or Vijayata or Nikhil. Asliya girbeku, nakliya girbardo. Secondly, be honest. Be honest in your answer. There are either questions of fact or questions of opinion. Questions of fact, you know. You can't guess. Questions of opinion, you can hazard an opinion which is well-reasoned, thoughtful, articulate, and positive. And remember, they are not looking for revolutionaries. They are looking for people who will implement the constitution of India. So, Nimi Genadro fundamental disagreement is there. Nimi interview is not going to be a good thing. It is not going to be a good thing. It is not going to be a good thing. It is not going to be a Then you must appear for these exams and interviews. I presume all of you are interested in that. Thirdly, communication skills. I have already briefed you on what communication skills are. Fourthly, a positive attitude, not only for the interview, but in life. Because at the end of the day, you lose nothing. You only gain things. And finally, precision. Precision in answer. Precision in speech. Precision in the way you look. Carrying yourself with smartness and dignity. Listening to the person asking the question. Good morning, sir. I'm very happy to meet you and the honorable members. So those are the five things I wanted to start with. Now tell me if there are any questions. 
I will be happy to answer them before we go to the next part. I will begin with Miss Vijayta. Any points, Vijayta? Um, sir, I wanted to ask you about the introduction that we give to the panel in the beginning. Should we restrict it to our name and educational background or do we add anything else to that, sir? Well, Vijayta, it also depends on the question. They'll say, good morning, Miss Vijayta. Come, sit down and they'll have your personal record in front of them. And the chairman will say, Vijayta, I noticed that you have got an LLB degree from law, uh, National Law School, Gujarat. Uh, so, tell us what you did there in Gujarat. You don't have to, you, uh, as far as I know, you don't have to say good morning. I'm Vijayta. I've done my LLB. I work in, I'm in Darwad. I, I don't think that will arise. Okay. All right. My experience of also being on the board, it is the chairman whose task is to put you at ease. By the way, they also put you at ease. Ma. They want to unsettle you. And they have been strictly told not to ask personal questions. They won't ask like, what is your father's salary? It's all there in the uh, personal record. So, they, I, to the best of my knowledge, you, you won't have to worry about. But if such a thing arises, you know what to say. Good morning. My name is Nikita. I'm very happy to be here. I want to thank you for giving me this opportunity. I have a degree from the uh, law college, Gujarat. And now I'm appearing for the interview. And uh, I look forward to having a good conversation with you. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Make it a conversation. An intelligent conversation. Question yes. and answer illa quiz illa ido master quiz o on prashne kail thane ni mutra kodo do bevur surso do adala illa conversation tau hege yaro bro very respected mentor jote matar tiro hage matar beko dhoni years bar do adino ando kelo ro dhoni years tare kelo ro aala speedo lag matar tare ni man natural lagi auri ge you can find out, no? Whether you are being heard. Correct, yes. Fine. Sir. Fine. Make it a pleasant, structured, intelligent conversation. Okay. Yes, sir. Mr. Nikhil, any questions on the first part? Uh, no, sir. Nothing from my answer. The five points are clear, sir. You understood all these five. Did you apply these five points in your first interview? Uh, so not with respect to uh, some of the points. Uh, I think I uh, was not in a positive attitude at that point. So I Why? was still low on confidence. Why? So I was still because it was first, it was my first interview, and also uh, I was so much scared that if this was if this could not work out, I had no other option. So that was my perspective at that point, sir. See. So, I'm glad yeah. you are being honest and candid. That's exactly what I want to say. It's natural, by the way, Nikhil. Yes, Anybody sir. who is not nervous is unnatural. But you have to prepare yourself. You have to say, okay, I am the real Nikhil. I am not the nervous, fumbling Nikhil. I am a strong young man. Mechanical engineering, I can get going. So, that is how you should. Thank you. That's a good answer. Uh, let me come to Smita. Anything you want to say, Smita? No, sir. I'm clear with the point. Have you appeared for any interview anywhere, Smita, after you finished your B.Tech? No, sir. Only company interview while in engineering. You've been to a company interview? Yes, sir. I had been placed, but I didn't take up the job. Ace. Ace engineers. No, I had been placed in a company, but I didn't take the job. Which company? Altron. Did you go for interview? Yes, sir, I have How been for was a it? Was it, was, interview. Did you apply these things in that interview or was it very technical in nature? No, it was technical in nature. Okay. College placements. Good. Rishi Kesh. Yes, sir. I have one question. Uh, it is regarding the opinion-based questions. Go ahead. 
it is uh, my doubt is regarding the opinion based question sir go ahead to what extent uh, the opinion should uh, uh, re I, i mean the boundary in the opinion what does that mean boundary i mean uh, we have certain opinions uh, about the verdicts of the supreme court or the application of 370 i mean criticizing the government to what extent ah that's a very good question that's a very very good question i told yes, you sir. this entire interview must be about the real rishikesh yes sir and the real rishikesh wants to join the uh, indian police service because he wants to serve the public and he yes. has the skills and aptitude for that but he also realizes that in order to be in the ips he has to be subservient to the constitution of india he has to follow the laws of the land and everything has to be done in a proper manner so even the opinions you have to voice must reflect that uh so for instance if it is about article 370 my uh, course of action would be that i support the supreme court decision on article 370 because the, the court has rightly ruled that there is nothing special about keeping it going forever that uh, article 370 is no longer valid but the basis for that must be a proper reading and appreciation of the judgment then you pick it up and then give a concise answer you know bulde bidbar do i want to appear to be different and theory la i am completely against the decision of the supreme court i don't agree with it i think it's a wrong decision ya ke why why is it a wrong decision if you can persuasively argue that point that's okay but since you are appearing for the all india services ordinarily you would be expected to go along with those things it's like you know Mr. Nikhil saying that I support the Naxalites. No, no doubt the Naxalites have a great rally, cry for justice. I also want justice, but justice does not get established because of violence or overthrowing the people. Justice has to be established in our scheme of things through the courts, through peaceful settlement of disputes. the bent of mind is very important here bent of mind must be positive constructive within the binds of the constitution do you get it yes sir yes sir good thank you then sir who else inyari dro who else was it smita did i ask you smita yes sir you asked ask me ಋಷಿಕೇಶ್ ಆಯ್ತು ಸ್ಮಿತಾ ಆಯ್ತು ನಿಖಿಲ್ ಆಯ್ತು ದೆನ್ ವಿಜೇತ ಯೆಸ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಯು ದಟ್ ಕ್ವೆರಿ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ಇಂಟ್ರೋಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೋ ಆಲ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಓಕೆ ನೌ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಸೇ ಹೌ ಡು ಯು ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಇಂಟರ್ವ್ಯೂ ವೆಲ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಗಿವ್ ಯು ಸಮ್ ಸಜೆಷನ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕೀಪ್ ಇನ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಪ್ರಿಪರೇಷನ್ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಫೋಕಸ್ ಆನ್ whatever you have done so far by way of your education and i won't go into much detail about it because you know what you have studied and remember it's not a it's not a exam ugc exam illa idu so they are not going to ask you technical questions like they might in a job interview which uh, some of you may have appeared but your personal background your education must be very thoroughly understood by you including all the special subjects you have taken in the exam because your personal record is before them uh, your subjects are also mentioned whatever you took in the exam so sometimes you know by chance a member may ask you a question on your special subject you must know that special subject thoroughly 
the broad trends which are there. Again, you know, you don't have to be very, very, very specific. It's not a written exam. So let me ask, Vijeta, what was your special subject in the exam? Uh, sir, my subject is Ayya. law. Uh, so you can expect questions on law, my dear. Yes, sir. What are the trends in law? What is happening in the legal profession today? What do you think about the abrogation of Article 370? Yes, sir. Uh, all, what, what, what is your opinion about the Collegium? Do you think mm -hmm. that the Collegium is doing a good job? There are 100 questions that we can ask about your special subject. Yes, and by sir. the way, these are all public knowledge subjects. They are not specific to your course. Yes, sir. But what they would like to see is the kind of answer you give as a young, intelligent, smart woman. A good answer. That's what they're looking for. Yes, sir. All right. Mr. Nikhil, what was your special subject? Uh, sir, my option is geography, sir. Ah, very, very important option. Lot of people take geography and they know everywhere, but know that the reason why an engineer like you took geography was because it was a scoring subject. So, I remember last year uh, in Topper, somebody also took geography like you. I think it was Sagar Alva, Somshekar. His subject is anthropology, sir. Anthropology, sorry, anthropology. sorry, sorry. Uh, but geography also, you can ask so many questions in geography. Not the not the conventional questions that come for your exam, but even otherwise, including about the drift of continents, and you know whether you believe that the entire land mass was one before it was separated, and if so, what is your opinion about it? Or uh, do you think geography determines history? Or is it the other way around? So all these are questions, you know, which call for your presence of mind. And a little bit of articulation. You have to think on your feet. Does geography determine history? Or does history determine geography? What do you think, Nikhil? If a question were to be asked to you, yeah. Does geography determine history? What will you say? Oh, sir, I think it goes both ways, sir. Uh, geography does determine history, and on the other hand, history also determines geography. Sir. In terms of geography determining history, uh, I think that's a classic example of uh, wherein in World War II, the, uh, at the fag end of the World War II, Hitler's army got reroted at Stalingrad. So they got stuck due to the winter season there. So that entirely determined the way the World War II actually transformed. And that's how some say that, that like Hitler was, uh, I mean, its army, his army was around just five, 50 kilometers away from Stalingrad. And they could even see Moscow at uh, uh, Leningrad, uh, Petersburg. So that's how they say that uh, the winter entirely determined the course of history of World War II. So it would have been a different scenario at this, uh, at this point if uh, Germany had won the World War. So on the other way, uh, history also determines uh, geography. Sir. So in terms of how man has uh, transformed uh, uh, the nature itself altogether by building dams or uh, how we've actually kind of, uh, the climate change has impacted the entire world itself. So it goes both ways, sir. No, no, the first part of what you said is okay. It was a little longer. The most classic example of history determining geography is uh, what you said. Uh, sorry, geography determining history. The other is, of course, that the geography of India and China determine the history of relations between India and China. Right. New other another you will get into a question mode about China. Why? Why? What is happening? In other words, you are steering the interview to your advantage. Right, sir. Geography to history and history and geography, well, it's open-ended. I don't know. One important way is colonial powers in, in, in Africa. They set artificial boundaries between countries on the basis of square blocks. You see the map of Africa. 
and therefore this was a case of history determining geography because you see they did not follow any laws of uh, ethnicity or uh, whatever sumne ee tara line hakidru the countries anta helidru they divided right so that is what it is so what was the special subject you took smita so coming to my graduation subject it will be data science machine learning artificial intelligence other than that my optional is kannada literature so in in, uh, in the ias you took kannada literature yes sir but you see you have opened to so many questions because of ai data science you know application of ai today that ai is going to create the next revolution what do you think about it do you think it's going to displace jobs how do you how will you respond to it and they'll extend it generally and saying what do you think about privacy there's so much of data explosion that's going on and the government has recently brought up about uh, an enactment what do you think of that enactment Yes, so i mean it is fantastic what is going to happen the kind of question that can be asked smita and you have to prepare yourself on those line broadly and similarly kannada literature is fantastic how many ganapit awardees were there can you just tell us what their contributions are in one sentence each and uh, who is the latest ganapit awardee why was he given the award what is special about kannada literature kannada language that has so many ganapit awardees seven of them eight of who was the huh eight eight sorry who was the first ganapit awardee is a is the kannada spoken in northern karnataka the same in southern karnataka so you know smita it's such a fertile area for a conversation not question and answers pick maadi next question illa idu multiple yes. choice question illa idu so you should really really bone up all your skills on who are the eight awardees here from the beginning of kuran po rabendra shivram gita masti venkatesh ayyengar uh, chandrashekar kambar is there um, Anant Murthy, Oka, I mean Vikru Oka, Girish Karnad. Yes, I yeah Anant Murthy, Vikru Oka, and one more I don't remember at this. Point. There are seven, I think, if you don't. No sir, Set eight. Uh, Chandrasekhar Kamba, it's eight, I guess. Okay, so you you make sure that you know who they are. Atara Kerala, like who are the eight? And that can out of general knowledge, I want you to know. Okay, and finally Rishikesh. what was your special subject so my special sir uh, is uh, sociology so why did you take sociology for the mains when you are a be civil yes sir that is uh, primarily because of my interest in sociology and uh, if i am entering a service which is all india based i think we need to understand the pulse of the society and the way uh, the society how will the thinks. knowledge of sociology help you to be a good ips officer Uh, understanding the needs of the people, sir. I think uh, the uh, the and how 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 will the needs of the people be reflected by your sociological knowledge? The fear that the people possess uh, in approaching the police, or the perception that is built since a very long time on uh, on the police, all these can be changed. with a different approach the sociology helps me uh, change this perspective on the department good why is there this why is there so much of emphasis on ethnicity today and the clash between people on the basis of ethnicity what do you think it's due to sir i think it is uh, the increasing regionalism and the attract the possessiveness towards their own culture and their own uh, ethnicity ethnicity is a where a, a varied uh, subject it can be But, race it can be culture caste anything so these variations help them 
bind to their own thing and when when there is an external influence on their uh, possess, possession there is a feeling of otherization and this otherization helps them fight for their belonging very good this There's leads to conflict exclusion yes, Inclu- me and they what's yes, called otherization very good that's excellent answer and this leads to conflicts which are ult- ultimately brings uh, chaos in the society the next question although you don't have to answer will be can give us an example of ethnic conflict in the world so you you be ready about all that i'm saying yes sir so you get what i am saying my dear friends yes sir it's all open ended conversation yav do they don't carry in their notebook ko hing prashne kelbeko adalla ilve illa it can be it can lead it can it can lead to many things and what they expect is that you will have a frame of mind that can assess and answer these questions frame of mind which is again honest good communication positive and precise of this first part that i told you it rolls over into every kind of response so one is for preparation your education and special subjects are very important secondly secondly knowledge about your state that you know you are all from when was karnataka formed why was the name of mysore changed to karnataka what are the regions of karnataka state especially if you are from north karnataka what is the argument in north karnataka about being part of the whole state and uh, what is special about kalyan karnataka are all the you know coastal regions of karnataka the same as other regions who are the prominent uh, thinkers social thinkers of karnataka today uh, when was the first freedom struggle in karnataka in mandya especially so so i'm saying karnataka is a state which all of you belong to and that is a point which you should be thoroughly prepared read about the history of karnataka what are the prominent dynasties of karnataka koisalas uh chalukyas vadeyas so so i'm saying which are which are the which are the sites declared as heritage by unesco in karnataka so art history sociology culture now do you require that knowledge if you want to be in the ias and ips definitely because it gives you a perception and a appreciation of what the state is about but don't spend too much time on it because this is not an exam on karnataka but these are the dimensions which you should absorb and understand in order to prepare about a good interview the third is the history of the freedom struggle see these are you know from my time they would say this freedom struggle movement to oh, they kind of come through in all conversations because it's india is now 75 years old new by the time you go for your interview i think uh, the republic would have been constituted 75 years ago right very good question especially for uh, vinita vijeta ke what is special about the indian constitution and all of you in fact why is it a written constitution why couldn't have been an unwritten constitution what is an example of an unwritten constitution what are fundamental rights what is the difference between fundamental rights and directive principles of state policy 
What is the meaning of the statement, the rule of law? What is the meaning of the statement, separation of powers? Is there a conflict between the judiciary and the executive? What is GST? How are disputes in GST settled? Recently, the government have announced the formation of the Finance Commission. What is the role of this Finance Commission? Who has been appointed chairman of the Finance Commission? What will be the importance of the Finance Commission for your state? Those are all real aspects of general knowledge which you should know. And I'm not going into each one. I'm not going to ask questions. Uh, I'm only familiarizing you with the terrain of the interview. And I'm doing it together in a group so that you can hopefully share from each other, cooperate, and take it as a learning experience. So, very important that you should know about this freedom struggle, Dandi, Salt March, Mahatma Gandhi, and then leading on about India, Constitution, Parliament. That is the third aspect of preparation. Fourth aspect of preparation is general knowledge especially contemporary events and global issues. On global warming, recently COP28 was held. What was the finding of COP28? Do you think it is realistic? Especially, you know, do you think it is feasible to eliminate fossil fuels altogether? Obviously, there is no right answer. There is one group that says fossil fuel will continue forever because it's the base load power. India cannot only depend upon renewable energy. But you can give any answer you think it is advisable, provided you think it through. You are consistent. You are articulate. You are basing your answer on some data and facts. So these general knowledge issues, what do you think the do you, this war in Ukraine that has been going on for two years, how do you think it is affecting India? Recently, in the Red Sea, drones attacked Indian ships. What do you think is the uh, implication of this? If I, any of you had opted for the foreign service, there would be other questions on the foreign service, geopolitical, geostrategic matters. But all of you should be aware that, you know, uh, this G8, G20 declaration took place September 20, September 20. What is the significance of this G20? So general knowledge. So, this is a very broad omnibus term, the general knowledge. It can include many things. When you go for the when you go for the interview, the Bangladesh elections would have happened on January 7. So, what do you think of the uh, elections in Bangladesh? What do you know about the history of Bangladesh? Who was the first president of Bangladesh? So that's the fourth aspect. And the fifth and final aspect that I can think of is something pertaining to you. For instance, if it is a question of, if it is uh, Mr. Rishikesh, ah, I see that you work in, you're working in ISRO. Yes, sir. So Rishikesh, why do you want to leave ISRO, which is a great national organization? You don't have to answer this. Yes, and join the IPS. What do you think of Chandrayaan, the success of Chandrayaan? What does it point to? 
What are the other aspects of ISRO that you are familiar with? How 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 has ISRO managed to create a sense of purpose and commitment in its employees? So, like that, uh, Mr. Nikhil, you can be asked questions in artificial intelligence. You can be asked questions in, you know, this great thrust we have towards uh, infrastructure because you're a mechanical engineer. One day, Bharat trains. That also applies for Smita, who is a BTEC. So, your subjects will also bring out questions. Again, there, my suggestion is be familiar with the broad trends in your subject and how it applies and how it relates to India. And again, have a positive attitude to it. Bring out the constructive aspects. So if you if you really so these are the five things I want to inform you about preparation. One is about your educational background and the special subjects you offered for the IAS. Second is knowledge about the state, especially its history, its culture, its background. Third is the freedom struggle leading to the constitution and about the special creation of India as a democracy. Fourth, general knowledge, especially contemporary events and uh, international events. And five, some subjects pertaining to you, your workplace, what you're doing, etc. So that is, those are the five things in preparation. So overall, I have given you 10 subjects today. Five relating to your personal equipment and five relating to the your preparation for the interview. Now let me ask each one of you what is your feedback on this five relating to preparation. Rishikesh, sir, what yes, is sir. your opinion? I think these Go are ahead. very uh, yes, sir. These are very broad topics, and uh, they I need to study deeper subjects related such to as, these, such as uh, current events relating to these five topics. What about Smita? Uh, these are all like we have to know some general issues and, and we have to know what hap what is happening around us and have an opinion or uh, some knowledge about it to answer even if we don't know about the topic at least something we should have read active to answer it okay mr nikhil uh, yes sir uh, in, in five of these points i think i'm pretty confident on certain parts but i'm quite uh, low and quite low on knowledge on certain aspects of uh, such as uh, knowledge on the state or with respect to uh, the education background that i had probably so, try Mikhail, when you went for your with the current affairs like when you went for your interview Nikhil, can you hear me yes sir. Am I audible? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I can hear you, sir. When yes, you sir. You're audible. I'm audible, sir. Yeah, you are. When you went for your interview the first time, was this the kind of preparation you did in terms of your educational background, special subjects offered, knowledge about the state, constitution, freedom struggle, general knowledge, or your own uh, work in ISRO, etc.? I don't know whether you are in Cicero then. Maybe you are not there. But uh, did you prepare like this? Yes, sir. Absolutely, sir. I prepared on similar lines. Uh, mm -hmm. But my questions are more skewed towards the DAF or the uh, 
the interest and uh, the various other uh, aspects that I had put in the DAF set. Rather than on my educational background, it was more towards the DAF, uh, the, the kind of information that I had filled on the DAF. Vijayata, what is your uh, feedback? Yes, sir. So I think the one unique point that I got from this is the knowledge that we need to have regarding the freedom struggle, given that we are celebrating India at 75. This is one aspect that I have not focused on until now. As per the other uh, points, sir, I need to study in detail for each one of them, though I have some command over my optional subject. But with regard to the state and uh, other general knowledge, especially in the international relations, I need to work upon that to a great extent. Sir. Excellent. So one other thing I'd like to tell you is that you should not be caught by surprise by any question. Because when you go for the interview, something may have happened that day or two days before or three days before. And it is likely that they may ask you something about that. I don't know what's going to happen. For instance, today's news says that uh, ISRO has uh, just sent, ma mounted a probe for assessing black holes in space. You might have read that. Or you should read it. So if that is so, what do you think of this? What is the meaning of black holes? Uh, how does it work in practice? I'm just saying that or some prominent person might feature in the news. For instance, Vergis Kurian, who celebrated his centenary. So, who, who, who was Vergis Kurian? What, what is his contribution to Amul? How has Amul made a difference? Or suddenly they may ask a question to you like, who is your role model in life and why? Again, my dear friends, that is an intensely personal question. There is no right answer. And the right answer is again. Because my role model may not be your role model. Although generally parents are role models of children. But that apart, there are other role models. So I have a few suggestions for uh, Mr. Somshekar. Is that if you really want all the four to be thoroughly prepared and you want them to get into the all India services of their choice. One is you should organize a little bit of information about these points I mentioned, about knowledge of the state, freedom struggle, about general knowledge issues, some, some mat written material which they can read apart from their own research because uh, each of them to do an independent study and all that. So, but time out for you. So if you can, through through uh, Topper, do something, it will be very valuable for them, number one. And number two, you encourage them to form a kind of a study group by which whatever I mentioned today can be discussed with them. And in addition, they may have their own view. They're all intelligent people. They need not only believe in what I'm saying. They may have their own views. And by that time, Information will come on what are the kind of interviews that are being held. Although the pattern is the same year after year. Yenadru Vishesha is rather known. Takondo. That can be, they can have a focus group among themselves. They need not come physically. They can meet in Zoom, talk to each other, and just chat and build each other up, support each other. And if there are others also, you can bring them into the conversation. That is the second suggestion I would make. And third, uh, Somshekar is Topper Academy in the whoever has qualified earlier. I don't know whether they have qualified for IAS or IPS, but at least they might have qualified for central services. Or if you can bring some younger IAS officers, two, three years of service, who has done the exam recently. How do you interview? Because you see, the moment you see somebody else who has done it successfully, you will also get the confidence. I can also do it. Finally, it is that confidence. Yes, I can. And Kail Ideado. That will take you through the interview. 
Okay, now I have a couple of minutes so that I'd like you all to tell me individually what is the study you are doing, when your interview is, and how you are preparing yourself, and what are the help you want from Topper or anybody in order that you can have a successful interview. Vijayata, take yes, your sir. time. Yes, sir. Uh, so I think uh, the help that I would require is particularly with regard to preparation of the state, the current issues of the state. So like you mentioned, sir, a session or study material on that would be very helpful. Other than that, from my end, I have been uh, preparing the optional subjects and my interests and hobbies that I mentioned in my detailed application form. Uh, my interview is uh, not scheduled in the first phase, so I'm expecting that it can be anywhere uh, after 16th February. So, uh, so because I have sufficient time, currently I'm taking some time to prepare my optional thoroughly because it's a little technical. Good. Are you nervous, Vijayata? Uh, slightly, sir. You should be. Yes, sir. If you are a little nervous, you will do better. But you should not become overwhelmed by the occasion. Yes, sir. Well, you have studied in a very good university. You have moved with good peers. Your English language skills are good. Yes, Your uh, articulation is also very good. So, you should have no problem. Huh? Yes, sir. You should sail through the interview. I hope to, sir. Yeah, I hope to see you in the IAS, in the Karnataka Kader. I hope to, sir. Thank I'll you for that. Shake, I'll come and shake your hand and tell you. You know, Somshekar, I know Gulbarga Kogi there. Yes, sir. And I met this Deputy Commissioner, young lady. And uh, I know she was very sweet to me. You know, I had to meet her about some matter. And she said, sir, I know you very well. I said, how? She said, you came to my school to deliver the school uh, prize when I was in the 11th standard. And you were then commissioner BBMP and since then you are my role model. And so I remember you very distinctly and uh, I'm very grateful to you for having inspired me to get into the IAS. I never knew that I inspired her. But you know, I'm just saying that you must have a role model or you must have some kind of a reach which will help you to overcome the situation if you have if you are feeling nervous and so on but if you are feeling nervous nothing like it you must feel nervous but to a point you know genius is 99% preparation 1% perspiration or 1% godliness preparation is the key systematic thorough preparation so all the best to you, Vijeta, and I'm happy to help in any manner you want. I'll tell you at the end what I can do later. Nikhil? Nikhil? Uh, right, sir. Uh, sir, actually, currently I'm working in the state government, sir. So I am... Yeah, yeah, labor commissioner. Yeah, yeah. That yes, also, you've been working. So there, you know, Industrial Disputes Act, and now the next phase of labor reform is uh, amalgamation of all the laws, and the application of the law. So you have a very big area also. Right. Like uh, ISRO, you also have a... Um, yeah, I should have alerted you. I'm glad you said that. You are, Where are you now posted, Nikhil? Sir, I'm posted at head office, sir. Unorganized what are workers you? Sir, I am currently working as Assistant Labor Commissioner. Uh -huh. So I'm still a proba on probation, sir. I'm still on probation. Who is the so Labor Commissioner now, Nikhil? Uh, Dr. Gopal Krishna Gowda, sir. Okay, good. Very good. Very good. Uh, fertile area for questions. You can expect a lot of questions on Minimum Wages Act. Correct. On, you know, whether agriculture, agriculture also should have a Minimum Wages Act. Things like that, Nikhil. Right, sir. So many questions can be posed. And they only ask, they ask these questions not to... Make out that you are an ignorant fellow, but to see what is the quality of your mind. How do you think through these things? Okay. Right. Good. Are you prepared? Well prepared? Uh, so, sir, that was my uh, pointer here, sir. So, I am not quite sure on how I should uh, present myself as from part of the state government at this point. 
the problem i'm also quite quite confused on how the questioning would come up from the board since right. you should be proud that you are in the labor department yes sir I'm, you that should be i am proud that you are assistant labor commissioner on probation and whatever subject you are dealing with and tone up your knowledge about the labor laws and all that and what the department does and such an important activity right. for the country and the state yeah you should right. you don't Absolutely. have to be diffident then you know there is no reason why you should feel diffident about being in the labor department and if they ask why do you want to leave the labor department and get into the ias that's an intensely personal thing you have to give a proper answer for that whatever whatever you feel is right you must say it right sir pakkad mane on you know health ane adakke nane helbeku antalla you decide why you want to join the ias right the contribution that you can make the impact you have the ability to make things happen na nodidini kuddagi i come from mandya mandya thane nikhil how sir yes sir i have yes. seen i have seen yeah deputy commissioners make a difference in mandya and i feel i too can do that athara yenadru helbekappa got it sir good i'm looking forward nikhil to seeing your name in the ias yes sir definitely sir and shaking your hand as a young ias officer or whatever service you want yeah, ias right right okay smita thank you sir yes sir uh, my interview is scheduled on 30th january wow uh. and i have been preparing about my daf the detailed application the keywords like my interest hobbies and particularly about education since i come from information science background and there are lot of issues going on like artificial intelligence data science cyber security blockchain health and e governance so i am preparing on those background like how it's going to impact on job displacements and the regulations data protection bill privacy on those aspect and with particularly to kanada literature i have uh, gone through uh, in a very broader uh, not in a very broader way but okay with the uh, that i can manage i feel uh with particularly about karnataka state i think uh, i have studied about uh, the basics like forest geography climate and uh, the regional disparity and all however i have some uh, issues like in content issues like nandini amul uh, thing uh, the ongoing issue or hijab issues i have to still build the, my opinions about it and i have to study about it so good No, Smita, you have such a broad area in which they can ask questions. You know, from all these artificial intelligence, etc., to the other things. So prepare yourself. And what my suggestion to all of you is: these uh, topics that are there, put three or four points in each topic. And so prepare a short primer on each of these topics. And you know, make sure that you have these four things or five things, and uh, broad things. so what they want really is familiarity they don't expect you to be a you know expert in artificial intelligence or whatever not that at all but some understanding some capacity to make intelligent conversation that's what it is and mr rishikesh sir i have been preparing by dividing these uh, broad questions like topics or uh, current events starting from the daf and the uh, news related events i've split the topics uh, to each page like one page for one topic and i've been gaining clarity on those in three or four lines great and That's as my how... yeah go ahead go ahead please as my friends pointed out uh, even i lack this uh, subject of states sir uh, karnataka related uh, history or the freedom struggle Uh, and uh, uh, several other subjects attached to the state yeah. so adana na helidini somshekar ge but my dear friends please listen all these subjects are not going to come to every one of you obviously not they are not going to say okay education ah, so what special subject you did then knowledge about the state freedom struggle it's not a multi 
It's not an essay type of uh, exam, right? It's a conversation. Depends upon how it takes a turn and how it takes a twist. Basic things are about yourself. Who is appearing for the interview? Mr. Rishikesh or Ms. Vijayta or Smita. You are appearing for the interview. Who are you? Ashtar. Alinda, it can climb any way it wants. You should be ready for the climb. And at the end of 30 minutes, when they say, okay, thank you, Ms. Smita, you must have a feeling of satisfaction. I did my best. Of course, there's always... Human to say, Nani, no, Chanagamani Bodagito, I could have said it, I could, but other, that's okay. Under the circumstances, since I had to face the interview board and I was by myself, but uh, final point I want to make is good preparation, strong preparation, belief in yourself, and abundant faith. In whoever you want, God, your parents, destiny, whatever, abundant faith, they will take you through the entire interview. So, uh, uh, Somshekar? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just give me a minute. I uh, had a very, very good discussion with these young men and women. And I have told them basically what is the lay of the land. and They know most of it. It's not that they don't know. You have certain inputs to provide to them, which I request you to do. And then if there is anything else they want, they are at liberty. Now, Smita's is the first interview in 30th. So she should go through some mock interviews. And she, she should prepare her for that. And maybe at some point in time, before the before she leaves, I can again talk to her and then we can make it a kind of an interview. Yes, sir. Uh, if she wants and if you want. Yes, but sir. otherwise, whenever the others are there, leave it to the Namadi and try to in, in, in implement what I said at least two or three times before January 30th. Let them all meet by Zoom or where are you based, Smita, in Bangalore? in my hometown, Kanapura. And uh, Vijayta, you are in Hubli, yeah? Yes, sir, I am in Hubli. And Vishikesh, you are in Bangalore? Sir, Bangalore, Bangalore, sir. And Nikhil? I'm also in Bangalore, sir. Yeah, so three, three of them are near Bangalore. One of them is in Hubli. So you, whatever is logistics, you can provide. Yes, sir. And, uh, try, to, try to get them to talk to some younger IAS or IPS officer who has been there recently or a good KAS officer, they'll get an idea and uh, prepare them for the interview effectively. Good. Here is Om Shekhar. You can close now. It's now almost yes, one o'clock. Sir, uh, actually it was a valuable session. From this, uh, actually, uh, I have suggested some things to them. One is about uh, reading some good books like from famous authors like Gandhi, Jawaharlal Nehru or Amartya Sen. Some of the books I have suggested them to read every day so that uh, they will have that uh, diversity in their uh, knowledge and also the opinion, how to build the opinion that is also useful. So and second thing, I suggested them to go for uh, like uh, uh, mirror reading that's what, so that they, they can improve their confidence. And the uh, third thing, I have suggested them to go for their gazetteers, the district gazetteers, so that they can uh, acquaint themselves well with their uh, native. And uh, apart from that, uh, I'm also trying to give them the possible questions on their DAF so that they can just mock it, so that uh, they can build their confidence. And lastly, I'm uh, giving them opportunity to field visit so that they can work with, uh, means go with the uh, officers so that how they work, so that uh, it will build the confidence of the students and they can also feel like I can also do like this. So these are the things I'm uh, as of now planning for them and also suggested them to read uh, two books that is Raja Marga and uh, Jaitra along with the book list and some of them also started reading uh, those books, sir. Uh, this is from my side, sir. If you uh, add anything else or if they demand something else from uh, apart from this, I am happy to help them, sir. They should read the newspapers, Swam Shekhar. Uh, yes, sir. That they are the uh, quality news. newspaper, Wodbeko. Yes, sir. And not just the headlines, but also the 
yes. editorials and uh, business section and all that. Yes, sir. they should be up to date. Sure, sir. Great. And, uh, thank you so much, sir. And uh, for all of you, Smita, Vijeta, Nikhil, and Vishikesh. Uh, yes, one thing I want to tell about sir is, so at, even in his busy schedule, so uh, if you, it is very difficult. Even I, I am afraid to talk so many times whether in which meeting he will be there or not. So, but in spite of that, he takes care of the, whenever it comes to students, he's happy to help at any moment. So feel free and also I'll uh, try to give his number so that you can connect whenever uh, you have some doubts or something. Okay. And uh, last thing, like uh, almost last few, uh, last three, four years, whatever, whom he have guided, 90% uh, of the students are in uh, place, means they're already working as officers. Sir, actually Sagarwadi has uh, finished his complete training and he's back in Bangalore. Uh, Hold on. Yes, sir. Really, there, eh? uh, Bender, just last week, Bandi, there, sir. He said that uh, I will also come and help the students. Very good. Very good. Marts. Betty Agona. Right. Sir. Thank you very much. Sir, thank, you, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. All the best sir. to you. Thank you very you much, sir. Well. Wish you good luck. Godspeed. And if I can be of any help, please let me know. Huh? Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Others be online, please. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Uh, hello. Yes, sir. Okay. So, Rishikesh Nikhil Smita. Uh, because Smita again, I'm a priority in a lake and Indian date bandila. Uh, okay. Then any help there. Field visits. If you want to go together, that also we can plan. So, group only. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. I have three, four officers who can guide personally. Andre, just meeting officer is different. Okay. But, Getting, uh, you know, on the guidance out in the hour, hang, prepare our back on the scratch in the head of bit. No? So, first preference is go to their place. So, what I suggest is yeah, I'll give the contact number, you can discuss over the phone. First preference is, for example, uh, Harsha Banu, sir. So, you need to travel to North Karnataka. Earlier, he was here only. And uh, another is uh, Mithun Kumar JK, that is an IPS officer, means uh, he is working as a SP in Shumoga. And the third is uh, Harsha, yes, he's working here only in Vishweshwaraya Tower, okay, Deputy Director. So you can meet him here only, so he will also guide. And uh, fourth is Shanta Hunmani, madam. Uh, she's working as Additional Secretary, she's in uh, Protocol Department, that is in Nidan Sauda only. And, uh, okay, Narendra sir, he's also available in uh, Vidhan Sauda only. So I can suggest this uh, these five officers, they take care like, they guide you in each and every aspect, like how the questions can be asked. And also, uh, you can work with them and uh, like you'll get a first acquaintance, like how the officers will be working so that it will build the confidence among you. Okay. So, if you have preference, so let me know. That is even good. Or individually also, I can send. If you go together, that's more better. You know, chana giratta. Nimge experience chana giratta. Okay. And uh, see, just meeting officer purpose Allah ido. Akandre previously na no feedback tagon dero prakara confidence tar tumba boost agi the alli antar am kedi do. Yake andre allo oron dero decision tagon dake naani idhar maar bande. I can do this. Anta feel ban kastan hai. You will behave like an officer in the intro hall. So aduk kos karan na tumba priority korti ni. Ina remaining work ko ni mige books oza dager bodo. Atwa DS session video korti rod. Ella dhuni nodi dhiran korti ni. Okay and. Uh, Jaira sir, bage ni mige gotti den tan korte ni. So, bate ni personally connect tak bodo or jate ga. In yena individual lo query sidra handle mar ko bodo. Ekandra UPSC panel dal iddo oru. So ni mige gotti den tan korte ni. Haga ge first hand experience agi de or jate ga. Yaavriti questions kheed thare, yaavriti iden mar thare anta. So yena hesitation it korde. Feel free to ask. Atwa nannu kheedi. Atwa sir number pass mar thene. Group alle pass mar thene. Now you can uh, talk to him. Allar bo acquaintance agi ro thrinda. Directly, you can speak to him. Okay. So, in another Keda Tidra Kedi, otherwise, uh, we'll uh, wind up the session. Individually, in Anim Jutta connection, no, uh, Andre, uh, mock interview, Eric Bake. It's a decade without date, Bandi Rosenta, our uh, plan mark for Taidinano. So, remaining people also, new head, we can schedule Yatra Madan. Yes, sir. Kedi, Kushikesh. Sir, uh, now mock interview, Taumik, Taumik and the insert Nano. Yes. Uh, any uh, before uh, as uh, yeah, Smita is taking once, see, mm. two things. Mm. There are two things. Mm. One, I, uh, one thing I will arrange uh, 
uh, interview in Vidhan Sabha itself. Okay. Yeah. If all of you are ready to go there, so it will become very easy for me so that uh, uh, all the officers will be available there and directly interview will be taken there itself. Uh, individually, I will try to do it, but I can you know, collect more officers. I will try to collect more officers. If you want to do it, it will be difficult to collect two to three officers. So, I will try to collect more officers. So, if you want to do it, I will arrange and uh, make sure that it will happen there. Is it fine? Yes, sir. But one... But we have to arrange more officers. Yes, sir. ಯಾವಿಟಿ ಪ್ರಿಯಾರಿಟಿ ನಲ್ಲಿ ನಾನು ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಸ್ಮಿತಾ ನೀಡ್ ಇಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ಲಿ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ನೀವು ಅಟೆಂಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರಾ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನಾನು ನೀವು ಹೇಳಿದ ಡೇಟ್ ನಾನು ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಸರ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ರೆಡಿ ಟು ಗೋ ಎನಿ ಟೈಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೀಕ್ ಆರ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವೀಕ್ ಸರ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ನಾನು ಹೆಂಗ್ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೇನೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಥರ್ಡ್ ವೀಕ್ ಆರ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ವೀಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಜನವರಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ವೀಕೆಂಡ್ ಡೆಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ಹೋಗೋಣ ಅಂತ ಪ್ಲಾನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ಅಟ್ ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ಐ ನಾನು ಹೇಳ್ತೀನಿ ಡೆಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ನಿಮ್ದು ಡೇಟ್ ಬಂದ ಮೇಲೆ ಪ್ಲಾನ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಎಸ್ ಸರ್ ಡೇಟ್ ಪ್ಲಾನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಸರ್ ಡೇಟ್ ಬಂದ ಮೇಲೆ ನಾನು ಹೇಳ್ತೀನಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ನು ಡೆಲ್ಲಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಫ್ರಮ್ ವೇರ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ದ ಗೈಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ನಾನು ಹೇಳ್ತೀನಿ ಹೇಳ್ತೀನಿ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ದಟ್ ಸಿ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ವಿಸಿಟ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ದೇರ್ ಯು ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಡೂ ಅದಕ್ಕೋಸ್ಕರ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಪ್ಲಾನ್ ಮಾಡೋಣ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಮಾಕ್ ಇಂಟರ್ವ್ಯೂ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಪ್ರಿಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಅರ್ಥ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಮಾಕ್ ಇಂಟರ್ವ್ಯೂ ಇಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಒಂದು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಇದೆಯಾ ಅಂತ ತಿಳ್ಕೊಳಕ್ ಅಷ್ಟೇನೆ ಬೈ ಅಟೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಅವ್ ಏನು ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಮಾಕ್ ಇಂಟರ್ವ್ಯೂ ಅಟೆಂಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಅನ್ನೋದ್ರಾಗ ಏನು ಯೂಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಓಕೆ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ಟೂ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಮಾಕ್ ಇಂಟರ್ವ್ಯೂಸ್ ಎನಫ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋಗ್ಬೇಕು ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಗೈಡ್ ಯು ಬಟ್ ಮಾಕ್ ಇಂಟರ್ವ್ಯೂಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಒಳಗಡೆಯಿಂದ ಕಾನ್ಫಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಂತು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಮಾಕ್ ಇಂಟರ್ವ್ಯೂಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡೆಲಿವರ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಕನ್ಫರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಐ ನೋ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಸೊ ದೇ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ಈ ಮಾಕ್ ಇಂಟರ್ವ್ಯೂಸ್ ಈಚ್ ಈಚ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಅದು ಟೈಮ್ ವೇಸ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ನಾನು ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಸಜೆಷನ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಬುಕ್ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಯು ವಾಚಿಂಗ್ ಮಾಕ್ ಇಂಟರ್ವ್ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಕ್ ಇಂಟರ್ವ್ಯೂ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸಾರಿ ವಾಚಿಂಗ್ ಇಂಟರ್ವ್ಯೂಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ವಿಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಆಫೀಸರ್ಸ್ ಅದು ತುಂಬಾ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಡಿ ಎ ಎಫ್ ಅದನ್ನ ಡೀಟೇಲ್ ಆಗಿ ನೀವು ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಮಾಡೋದನ್ನ ಹೇಗ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅದನ್ನ ಮಾಡೋದು ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಓಕೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ವಿಸಿಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಆರ್ ಟು ಮಾಕ್ ಇಂಟರ್ವ್ಯೂಸ್ ಸೊ ಇದನ್ನ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ ಆಗಿ ಪ್ಲಾನ್ ಮಾಡಿ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಕಾನ್ಫಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಲ್ಡ್ ಮಾಡೋದೇ ಮೇನ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಅವಳದ್ದು ಏನು ಅಲ್ಲ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕಾನ್ಫಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಇದೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಐಮ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ತುಂಬಾ ಕಾನ್ಫಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಎಸ್ ನಾನು ಒಬ್ಬ ಆಫೀಸರ್ ಅವ್ರ ಜೊತೆ ಕುತ್ಕೊಂಡು ಮಾತಾಡಕ್ ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ಸೊ ಈ ಫೀಲಿಂಗ್ ಯಾವಾಗ ಬರುತ್ತೋ ಸೊ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ಇವರಿ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ನಾನು ಹೇಳೋದು ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಬೇರೆ ಇನ್ನೇನಾದ್ರೂ ಇದ್ರೆ ನೀವು ಡೇಟ್ ಆದಷ್ಟು ಬೇಗ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ನೀವು ಸಿಂಕ್ ಆಗಿ ಯು ಡೋಂಟ್ ನೋ ದ ಸಿನರ್ಜಿ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಹತ್ರ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಇದೆ ಮೇಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಸಿನರ್ಜಿ ನಾಲ್ಕು ಜನನು ನೀವು ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಮಾಡಕ್ ಶುರು ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಎವ್ರಿ ಡೇ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಮಿನಿಟ್ಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಮಿನಿಟ್ಸ್ ಹಾವ್ ಅ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಓಕೆ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ನೀವೇ ಡಿಸೈಡ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಅಥವಾ ಬೇಕು ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಆಶಾ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಹೇಳಿ ಲೆಟ್ ಹರ್ ಶಿ ವಿಲ್ ಪುಟ್ ಟೈಮಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇನಿಶಿಯೇಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಡ್ತಾರೆ ಅಥವಾ ನೀವೇ ಇಂಡಿವಿಜುವಲ್ ಆಗಿ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಮೀಟ್ ಏನಂದ್ರೆ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಡೇ ಯು ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಯು ಆರ್
ಓಕೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಎಫರ್ಟ್ ಹಾಕಿದ್ರೆ ತುಂಬಾ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಇನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಡೈಲಮ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಕಳೀತು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಮಿ ಸರ್ ಟುಡೇ ವಿ ಹಾವ್ ಸಮ್ ಟೆನ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಿ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಲಾಗ್ ಇನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೆಷನ್ ಓಕೆ ಸರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಸ್ಮಿತಾ ಶಿ ಇಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಇಂಟರ್ವ್ಯೂ ಆನ್ ಜಾನ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಎಸ್ ಸೊ ಶಿ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಆರ್ ಟೆನ್ ಡೇಸ್ ರೈಟ್ no it depends on her that's what i'm saying okay you uh, think uh, you, you know nimm the synchronization idre okay. definitely nan help panak easy agutte okay smita if if you can answer if, when you are taking the mock in bangalore then we will also join you because it is uh, a half an hour you will be finishing your mock and the same day itself we can also give our uh, mock the officers mentioned by sir okay uh, probably ನನಗೆ ಅಟ್ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ಟೂ ಡೇಸ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಅಥವಾ ತ್ರೀ ಡೇಸ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ನಂಗೆ ಬೇಕು ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಆಫೀಸರ್ಸ್ ಕೋರ್ಡಿನೇಟ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ಟಾಸ್ಕ್ ಒಬ್ಬರಾದ್ರೆ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಟೈಮಿಂಗ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ತ್ರೀ ಫೋರ್ ಆಫೀಸರ್ಸ್ ಶುಡ್ ಕಮ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ನೋ ಸೊ ನಂಗೆ ತ್ರೀ ಡೇಸ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಹೇಳ್ಬಿಟ್ರೆ ಸಾಕು ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಅರೇಂಜ್ ಗ್ರೂಪಲ್ಲಿ ಡೇಟ್ ಹಾಕಿ ನಂಗೆ ಸರ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಏಟ್ ಟು ಟೆನ್ ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಒಂದೇ ಡೇಟ್ ಕೊಟ್ರೆ ಅವರು ಅವೈಲಬಿಟಿ ಹೇಳಕ್ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಸರ್ ಏಟ್ ಟು ಏಟ್ ಟು ಟೆನ್ ವರೆಗೆ ನನಗೊಂದು ಪ್ಲಾನ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಅಂತ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಸ್ಕೆಡ್ಯೂಲ್ ಫೆಬ್ರವರಿ ಅವ್ರಿಗೋಸ್ಕರ ಪ್ಲಾನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರ್ತೀನಿ Yes, sir. Next if Smita is saying... Next week, it's fine for me, sir. Uh, sorry, Nikhil? Next week, it's fine for me, sir. I can take up the interview next week also. Okay, Smita is saying that. Just put a date, sir. You discuss and put a date. So yes, that uh, I can arrange easily. Okay. okay. But none of the things I have preference for, I have field visiting for preference for field visiting. That's the plan, Maddy. Because I know you will learn more than mock interview in the field visit. ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ನಾನೇ ಹೇಳ್ತೀನಲ್ವಾ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ಐ ಗಾಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಫಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ನಾಗಭೂಷಣ್ ಅದೇ ನಾಗಭೂಷಣ್ ಸರ್ ಕೇಳಿದಿರಾ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಅವ್ರ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ನಾನು ಮಂಡ್ಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಅವ್ರು ಡಿ ಸಿ ಆಗಿದ್ರು ಅವ್ರ ಚೇಂಬರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಟೂ ಹವ ಟೂ ಅವರ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಐ ಸ್ಪೆಂಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಟು ಸೆವೆನ್ ಅವರ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅವ್ರು ಎಲ್ಲೆಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋದ್ರು ಅವ್ರ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಹೋದೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿಂದ ನನಗೆ ಇದು ಐಡಿಯಾ ಬಂದಿತ್ತು ಓಕೆ ಇದು ನನ್ನ ಕಾನ್ಫಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಬೂಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೇವೆ ಯಾಕೆ ಅವ್ರು ಏನು ಕೇಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡಲ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರು ಓಕೆ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡೂ ದಿಸ್ ನಾನು ಮಾಡಬಲ್ಲ ಇದನ್ನ ನನಗೆ ಯಾವಾಗ ಹಂಗೆ ಅನ್ನಿಸ್ತು ಸೊ ಇಂಟ್ರೂ ಕೂಡ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಾಯ್ತು ಅದನ್ನೇ ನಾನು ಅವತ್ತಿಂದ ರಿಪ್ಲಿಕ ಮಾಡಿಬಿಟ್ಟು ಯಾವಾಗ ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಬ್ಬರಿಗೂ ಕಳಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ಅವರಲ್ಲಿ ಅವ್ರು ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ನೋಡಿಬಿಟ್ಟು ಎಸ್ ನಾನು ಮಾಡಬಹುದು ಅಂತ ಫೀಲ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಓಕೆ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಅದರೊಂದು ಅದ್ರ ಜೊತೆ ಹೋದ್ರೆ ಒಳ್ಳೆಯದು ಇಂಡಿವಿಜುವಲ್ ಹೋದ್ರೆ ಅವ್ರು ಪ್ರತಿ ಸರಿ ಟೈಮ್ ಕೊಡೋದಕ್ಕಿಂತ ಟೂ ತ್ರೀ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಜೊತೆ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಇದ್ರೆ ಒಳ್ಳೇದು ಓಕೆ Uh, so just a suggestion if we can have the field visits and the interview scheduled the same day or the next day then it will help me at both, both are okay got it but uh, both are different aspects like the field visit is like a... the consecutive days sir if uh, the others three are also okay with it hmm. then uh, i can uh, plan my travel to bangalore accordingly sir. okay no 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 field visit with whom you are going is also see all the five people you cannot have a field visit so you may be going meeting one or two officers for field visit correct so for example you may be planning to meet so for example for hushik case i am suggesting mithil kumar because police department definitely he must meet him yes sir for others you choose got it so you may meet harsha balu sir or uh, narendra sir so those are working in that field so nimige aa ondu appointments barli anod uddesha adike if it yes, happens sir. to be like this day and uh, like uh, today is field visit next day is uh, market tour that is fine but uh, both are different aspects yes i yes, understand sir. sir we i think uh, uh, it depends on uh, if smita decides a date and she gives a date yeah, no i think we will join her you discuss the date in group yes, and sir. i will try to arrange that okay yes sir both field visit and this one yes hmm? sir hmm. field visit can be individual no issues but if you go together they will also get more energy more people more energy so that they will uh, take more time to spend with you okay yes sir there any other idea